Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Y'all see the title? It's that time. It's that time. This is honestly becoming one of my favorite videos to film. Not all for any type of bragging. So let's get that straight. You should not try to brag. I don't do that over here. I just like to share like my excitement I have for makeup. And I know I show that when I do my tutorials, but I get so excited to like just try like new things. So let's just be so excited for me. Just like look, 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 girl, 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 girl girl <laughs> uh it's still a bit of a long haul so um go ahead and get a snack and let's go ahead and get into this haul so this haul this week i think i'm going to start including um not just my makeup stuff but if i get more because i did a last vlog but um last vlog last haul um i showed you guys like my fragrance i got so i'm gonna show y'all everything i get for the week you know i just show you guys the majority of like my makeup stuff that i get but i think i'm gonna just start including pretty much anything that's beauty related if you guys don't mind that um meaning like all my skincare stuff my fragrance and I do be buying like home decor stuff, but I'm not going to show that in my, in my weekly hauls. I think you guys will see more of that in my actual uh, weekly vlogs. Y'all will see those um, because otherwise y'all be sitting here like, girl, how much you spend in a week? And I'll be like, mind your business. No one's counting your wallet and your coins. Don't count mine. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know where to start because like I said, it's a little bit of a big one because I'm adding more to this haul on what to show you guys. I got me some new wigs, yes, so we showing them all. So if y'all wanna see some wig reviews of me trying these wigs out, let me know and I will definitely bring that uh, to you guys as soon as possible, so. Bath and Body Works, hey! <laughs> I, I did a little random shopping today and <laughs> this was the quickest shopping I've ever did in Bath and Body Works. I think I was in there roughly about a good 10 minutes max and I'm not kidding and that's because I had my son with me on my hip and he was getting a little cranky this is like the third store we had went in for the day and he was like look mom it's my nap time I'm ready to go I'm ready to go home so I'm about to wall out so he started to you know get a little cranky and I was like wait just one more store baby just one more store so I quickly sniffed and it was uh, three, four, I think buy three, get one free if I'm not mistaken. So I quickly grabbed, went to the register, boom, and that was that. <laughs> so I don't even really think I inhaled or even tried to see the variety, the variety of scents that was available at, at Bath & Body Works because I was trying to hear it though. So we don't really smell them right now. And if I don't like them, I'm bringing the stuff back. So no, I don't know what collection is available right now. I went to the front table that was in front of the store and that was that and I kind of like regretted it because as I was leaving I was like oh that's the spring and summer editions on that side it's just she gonna be back I'm not even tripping I'm not even tripping okay so I did pick up two little mini um items this is a lotion and of course the spray and these are both the a thousand wishes these were like my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works I have the full size somewhere in my collection back but I honestly bought this to pocket inside my purse like when I'm out and about especially like the lotion if I my perfume was like kind of like wearing off and I want to freshen up just in case our little hand hand ladies when y'all go to the bathroom this might be a little TMI but y'all use that bathroom a little tutu come out a little air fart yes before you after you leave the bathroom so that way when the next person come and run in when I get in a whiff of that fart that you just let out by accident, okay? And that's the truth, okay? Let's keep it cute, let's keep it cute, let's keep it cute, ladies. Have this in your purse, she will save you. <laughs> All right, and then I think this is one of the new collection. I don't know what this collection is called, but I got the scent Vibrant. This is the purple scent, okay? It's the purple scent, okay? And this is what it looks like. She smells, what is the notes in here? Wild blackberries violets and vanilla see this would be hard for me i'd be liking my spray and the lotion to smell good because sometimes the spray would smell good and then when you smell the lotion it don't smell like the spray or vice versa so i think i sprayed the spray in the store and i was like oh that smells really good another thing inside bath and body work there's so many like strong scents in the store from all the other scents combined so i don't know what i was smelling was actually this it's such a i don't think it was because that don't 
That don't smell good. That don't smell like me. I'm, I'm not a vanilla girl, so I don't even know why I got that. It's called Vibrant, and this one is called Gorgeous, which is pink, and I'm hoping she smells good. I honestly feel like this one's been used. Hmm, I don't know. They not hitting. This collection, I just, I, I shouldn't have did a quick grab. You know what I'm getting from both of them? It smells like hand sanitizer. And I know it's kind of deceiving because I'm spraying it in this top. So let me actually spray it on my body and see what my pH balance and everything will combine what it smells like. Mmm. Okay, it looks like we're going to Bath and Body Works for return. I'm going to go by myself next time so I can really take my time. But that was an epic fail. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next thing. Um, I thought I had more fragrance to show you guys, but I think that was from my last weekly haul that I showed you guys but anywho I got something from Ace Beauty yeah so this is my first time seeing it because I wanted to be reveal and show it on camera with you guys so it's like a, a first time with both was like I'm sharing it with my girlfriend like girl look what I got so I wanted to share that reaction with you guys so this is the new um, collection from Ace Beauty I don't even know if it's still available. I think it is, but this is a limited edition. Look at the cute little tissue paper they got. That's really cute. But it's limited edition, and I wanted to see how big these palettes were, because some, sometimes, you know, pictures and stuff make them seem too bigger than what they're supposed to be. All right, so I got all four of the actual palettes from the collection. Oh, look at that. It looks like um I got sent the eyeshadow base for free so i don't know if that was like a promotion for buying the collection okay so this is the ace beauty eyeshadow primer base so i'm thinking this is going to be like a concealer or is it a primer it's an actual concealer formula so that is cute i think i have something from ace before all right that was nice to include i will definitely be trying that out see if it helps make my eyeshadows pop all right, so now for the palettes, y'all. Let's get into this look. The yellow one, Flora. This is what the palette looks like. Oh my gosh, y'all. The actual palette. Oh my goodness. This palette is super duper adorable. It's like little sunflower flowers inside the palette. That was the perfect cute detail because like when I show it on camera it looks like it's just a, a print of a sticker but it's not like it's like a 3d effect like these are like legit little mini sunflowers inside this palette that was freaking cute ace that was smart that was cute okay well this is the color story for this one she's so cute so it's like a neutral palette with a splash of like yellows in there is how I take this palette. Some of y'all might be looking at the top like, girl, that is not neutral. But it has neutral shades in it. So in my mind, it's neutral. I'm gonna go in with the brown. This is Cala, right? Am I saying this right? I'm probably pronouncing all these wrong, so please don't fault me for this. It's the same details. It's like a little nice little brown like woozy flower. This is so cute. And then, okay, now this is a legit neutral palette. I told myself being that this was limited edition, I was like, okay, if I don't get all of the eyeshadow, there is two in particular that I really want, and these are the last two that I'm about to show you. I'm excited for all of them, but this purple one, y'all, this is the one I was like, for sure, was like my number one. I really, really want it. Look at the detail. Oh my gosh, the purple details. Yes. Look at the flowers. And then the color story. If y'all love some purples, y'all are going to love this eyeshadow palette. I'm usually a pink girl when it comes to like my eyeshadows, but purple is kind of like similar to pink. So I think that's why I kind of like gravitate to purple shades as well because they're in the same color family. And that palette right there, y'all gonna be seeing some looks real soon with that one. And then the last one, this one had that pop of like, green in the picture y'all can barely see the flower but it's flowers in there as well nice little burgundy touch this palette is freaking beautiful and look at this color story in this one this one is very different very unique okay i'm gonna put these in rotation on my desk of palettes to do a look on y'all will be seeing these for sure this month 
on me doing tutorials. So y'all be on the lookout for these new looks with these palettes. So I went to TJ Maxx finally, you guys. In this shopping center was deaf to a wallet. <laughs> deaf to someone who has shopping problem, deaf to just in general because all of the shopping stores that was in this shopping center knew better okay they had tj maxx over there they had burlington's they had marshall's they had old navy they had sally's they had ulta i'm not done yet they had freaking bath and body works bed bath and beyond there best buy and then the note and then they had the nerves to have a little nice and it looked very expensive nail shop in this whole little shopping center i was like Whoever coming in here is breaking bread. Like, you're not gonna just go into one store and just be like, okay, I'm out. No, you're stopping at every stop or at least three to four stores in that shopping center. And then on top of that, y'all, y'all know I like food too. They had this freaking seafood boil place there. They had um, Applebee's there. McDonald's for the kiddos. If you got the kids, give them a little fries while you go to the seafood boil. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot be in the shopping center that often i have to come there like once a month because it would break your girl's coins but i just wanted to go because i've never been to tj maxx wanted to see what was going on what was the hype because i see so many hauls of people going there in marshall's and of course i didn't know this i'm kind of late to the game but they got a high-end brand of products there on the low price so I definitely was like, yeah, I need to go ahead and see what we got to offer. So they didn't really have that much for Marshall. Um, I think I will choose TJ Maxx over Marshall because Marshall makeup area at my location, it was just, I'm just gonna show you what I got there. Um, there was a lot of like brands that I've never heard of. They didn't have a lot of like fancy, like known brands. They had like two NARS product and maybe like two or three like MAC products, but everything else was like brands that I didn't know of. And then I looked up on this one. I definitely grabbed her. But y'all, they had the ABH Novena palette there. I was super surprised and shocked to see this. And a lot of the eyeshadow palettes too, you had to open them up because you can tell that people were just looking at these palettes, dropping them and then they just put them right back on the shelf. They're not cleaning them up. They're not detecting them. They're leaving them back on the shelf. So this eyeshadow dust from other broken eyeshadow palettes, it was just a hot mess. But this Norvina palette was $19.99. $19.99 for this palette. If I'm not mistaken, let me let me look really quick on the actual website because I think this palette is like almost $60. So I got her for a good $20 that is an actual steal let me see because this is compared to 26 dollars. i don't even think that's the price for the norvina palette so let me look really quick yeah i'm on the actual anastasi website this palette retails for 60 dollars what and i got it for 20. they would never have a discount that damn cheap for this palette but this is what she looks like. I definitely am here for it. It was in good condition. No finger swatch. No breaking. No broken eyeshadow. I honestly think I caught him because uh, it was a guy who was restocking the shelf. I think I caught him right in the midst of putting this product out on the shelf because it looked too good and too perfect to not be touched and swatched by nobody else. And there were no other palettes from this brand there. So I was really surprised i was like okay so i will probably go like every two weeks to see if i can find any more like expensive brands like this for the low price now tj maxx <laughs> tj maxx had a lot of high-end brands to the point i got overwhelmed i was like okay i see what it i see what it is i was like i don't want to go uh too far because i went to tj maxx first and then marshall but i probably would have got more products knowing how marshall's um products were but anywho I picked up the um BH Cosmetics yes BH Cosmetics of the year this is called the Power Play this is their actual newest palette and it's a neutral palette now do I need another neutral palette no I do not but I know I, I remember I when I seen this whole collection because it's like many palettes to go with this one I wanted to give it a go and it was only six dollars for this palette so I was like 
other than that, if it would have been more than like $6, I think I would have not have got it. That's one of the reasons why I didn't get it off of the actual DH Cosmetic website because I was like, I have so many neutral palettes. This one, it, it called my name, but it didn't fully call my name. But for $6, I was like, okay, it called me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get her. So I got that one from TJ Maxx. And I was really surprised to see this brand there. And it was only one left. Yes, Jaclyn Hill was there, y'all. This palette was, guess see this? $12.99 for this palette. $13 and some change, including tax. I was like, what? They had a lot of Jaclyn Hill stuff. I think I would definitely go back and check out. They had some concealers from her. They had a few of her liquid lipsticks. I It was just too busy because once I got there, I got there as soon as they opened up the doors. I felt like it was like a, a bum rush of everyone just coming in to see what they had available. And it was just getting too crowded and I had my son with me. So I was like, let's hurry up and go. So I would just quickly glancing and going through and picking up these items and checking them, make sure nothing was broken. And this was the only one available. And y'all, she's in good condition. No finger swatches, nothing. Yeah, I was looking, I was like, make sure ain't no finger. Oh, okay, so again, I think I caught them right on truck because they were actually putting stuff still out so i think this was like a good truck item and i asked one of the ladies there too i was like how often do you guys get truck she's like every day i was like oh i thought it was gonna be like a special day that i can come in and snag some stuff but she said every day i was like okay well i'll, I'll see y'all when i see y'all but i also picked up some body sprays too i picked up Nicki minaj pink friday this retail for 6.99 and I think if you search this off of Amazon, this thing is like almost 30 something dollars for this body spray and she smells really good. If y'all remember what the actual perfume smells like, she smells identical to the perfume just in a body spray form. And then this one, I don't even know what brand this is. I just picked it up. I like it. The, I like the package. It was super duper cute, but y'all, I sprayed her. <sighs> I sprayed her again. I sprayed this. I was like, what? It smells so good. This only was this was only for $5.99. Yeah, I don't even know what brand this is, but it smells really, really good. <sighs> yeah, okay. So that's all I got from TJ Maxx and Marshall. I'm so proud of myself because I thought I was gonna spend a lot. And I also bought home decor stuff, but like I said, you guys will see that in my weekly haul, but bunch of these is what I got and this would not be a haul if I did not have anything from Ulta so let's get into Ulta I picked up a couple of primers from Smashbox because we were getting extra employee discount off of this brand so I bought some of y'all know I'm on a primer hunt so I bought some okay so this is the photo finish 8-in-1 primer I don't know what it mean by 8-in-1 but I think this like does so many things it primes and plumps it nourishes, it balances the skin, and it creates a lightweight, breathable bearer. Uh, it refreshes, it rejuvenates, it sets the makeup, it does everything. So I was like, okay, let's give her a go. So it's by the brand Smashbox, and Smashbox is really good on the actual primer. So I said this would be a good still to try, because if I don't like her, I'm quick to return things with no problem, okay? And then I picked up another pair of lashes of Juvia lashes. I'm becoming a fan of their lashes. Yes, I'm one of those. Um, and these are in the style Cleopatra. I already had this style, but I kind of like ruined mine with the lash glue. So, and it was kind of like one of my favorites that I got from Juvia. So I said, let me just rebuy her. So I did rebuy her. Hopefully I'll be able to fix the other ones, but I don't think I will because they are like, I don't know what the heck I was doing. I think I slept on them or what, but they're like all super stuck together. So I'm gonna try to soak them in some makeup, relu uh, makeup uh, remover solution to see if it will actually, you know, get break it apart. If not, then I'm just gonna throw them away. Uh, and then I also picked up Juvia uh, foundation and the concealer. <sighs> see, I don't think you guys seen that video up yet, but I did a Juvia foundation review on the glowy one. I finally found my shade. I think I told you guys in my last haul, and I did a two day wear test, and I don't think I like that foundation. It's it's very radiant. I know it says radiant, but it's super duper radiant when I say radiant. And I think the shade that I thought was my shade is still not my shade. And it's like only one more shade up. 
and I know she's going to be too dark. I just feel like for the Radiant Foundations, I feel like they don't have that many undertones and stuff like they did with that regular, uh, with their regular foundation. Because I even looked on the actual website as well, and it's still one more shade only left. And I was like, that shade is definitely going to be too dark. So why would I need to buy a dark foundation? I'm like, it's just my undertones are just not correct. So the shade was correct, but once I put her on and after it dried down, it kind of like gave me like a red orangey vibe, and I just was not here for it. So. I think I'm just gonna return her. So I have one of these already, and I say one of these because I have this foundation already. But when I first got that foundation, I think I just didn't know anything about foundation, and um, I got her, and she's definitely not the correct shade. So by me trying her and wearing her, and being that she wasn't my correct shade, I felt like I did not like the foundation. And I think I said it a couple of times in my video, and some of y'all was like, y'all need, need to try it again and just use very little and it would do what it's supposed to do. And I was like, you know what, y'all right, because I didn't know much about makeup when I first bought this. And you know, I was still learning, but I felt like I'm more educated and stuff about makeup now. So I found, I think, my correct shade. So I'm gonna be trying this formula out and see if I like this better than the actual Radiant because I'm trying to get on the Juvia band rack and when it comes to like the products on the face because I see a lot of people using the foundation I'm like I'm just not there yet I'm like I don't I don't like the radiance so let's try the matte one more time okay and then I also picked up a concealer like I said because I just wanted to have a concealer from Juvia oh I picked up two look I didn't even know what I bought y'all look at me so I picked up two concealers from Juvia I'm assuming I picked up a contour and a highlight one yeah okay so this is the contour shade She's super duper dark. Oh, I think she's gonna be too dark. Yeah, I think she's too dark. This is my typical. No, I think it'd be right. This is the one that I always use. This is by e.l.f. Yeah, I think they're pretty identical. Yeah, okay. It's okay if she is too dark. I can definitely buff her out, blend her, make her look cute. Okay, and then the highlight concealer part that I bought. This is what she looks like. She looks close to the shades that I usually use. So. Okay, I'm excited to try that. I will do a full face of Juvia in one of these future videos. Because I also picked up a Juvia gloss. This is in the shade Butterscotch. I am trying to collect all of the Juvia lip products. <laughs> because I really like Juvia brand in general. So I'm just being a Juvia um, collector because I really like this brand. So, all right, and then with that, I also picked up some ColourPop. These were called, these are the Shadow Stick. So I picked up four shades. I swatched them, and y'all, these are really, really good. I honestly don't even know what I'm going to use them for. I know they're for eyeshadow, but I haven't used like Shadow Sticks on my eyes. So I was just buying them just to be trying them because the shade and the formula of them are really, really pretty. So this is the shades that I got. So this is a green, this is like a orangey bronze. This is like a lime green, and then this is a brown. And I believe the brown one is matte and the other ones are more of a metallic shade. And then I got some samples. This is the Be Tight Lift and Firm Booty Mask. Okay, it's so supposed to firm the booty. So I got a little, a little travel size of this. Let's give it a go. And then we had a vendor there for this brand. This is the, what is this? This is a tightening neck cream. Do I feel like my neck needs to be tight? No, but when things are for free, you grab it. You grab it and say thank you and have a good day, okay? Yes. All right, and then I picked up the um, ColourPop Alice in Wonderland collection. I only picked up the two item. I didn't want the whole entire collection. I just got the eyeshadow palette in this beautiful blush, y'all. Wait and see this blush, y'all. Wait till y'all see this blush. I was like, ColourPop, y'all finally did something amazing with the blush, finally. But let me show y'all the palette really quick. The eyeshadow is really, really pretty. The color story is really light, soft, light pastel colors. I was really excited for this shade right here and in this green right there, so yes. And then I was so debating on buying this lipstick from this collection, but y'all, it's just, I don't know, it was just something about the combo of them because 
there were like two red shades and i was like why did you pick red you should they should have did like a red set and then a neutral set because i feel like it would have sell and pop a little bit more better but both of the shades were red and then one of the reds were like an orangey red it just i didn't like it i didn't like how it was paired with a weird color gloss and it should have just been so separate i think it's so separate online but in the store they had the actual sets together and i didn't want the whole set but here is the blush y'all look at this blush y'all see how red she is yeah the colors the camera is not deceiving the color it's really really red i am so here for her i was like thank you club pop finally i don't know what it is about the red but they was really into red for this collection i'm like i was in wonderland it's not even that red like I don't know where they get so much of the red, but yes, they got the red, 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 honey. And y'all, I picked up the Uma blush. I had to. I, I talked about it in the new makeup talk, and I was like, as soon as I see her, I'm going to get her. So I got, I think, the deepest shade they had available. And this is my first time. Open her up. Okay, this is what she looks like. These are the dual blush from Uma. Y'all see that? Okay, I think she's definitely going to give off some pigmentation. This dark side is definitely going to be very beautiful on the cheeks. And I think this other side, it has a little bit of shimmer. So if you like a little bit of frosty shimmer on the cheeks, or you can pop her on right above the blush and add her for a highlight. So I am excited to try some Uma products. Yes. And I know I got the most viral product as well. Yes. <laughs> I got all three of them. Where's the blush? Hold up. Where's my blush? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I got all three of the actual wands. So I got the blush, I got the highlighter, and I got the contour. So I'm excited to give these a try. All right, and the last bit of my makeup that I'm going to show you guys that I got. This is from Sigma Beauty. Sigma is now called Sigma Beauty. I know I'm probably late on knowing that, but... I got a notification that they were having a sale, so I took advantage and bought some things because it was a sale. So this is what I got from Sigma. So this is my first time ordering from Sigma in a long time. I think the last time I bought anything from Sigma was their actual brushes. And that has been about, I want to say roughly like 10 to... Has it been like 10 years? Okay, it hasn't been that long. Has it been that long? I, I give it a good 8 because I was living with my parents around that time. Y'all remember that? Who remember me doing my videos in my actual bedroom with my daughter? Y'all remember those days? Yes. Um, so that has been a long time since the last time I bought anything from Sigma. And back then that was so expensive to buy anything from Sigma, like their brushes. So I think I, was, I only treated myself like when I did put an order with them, I only got like two makeup brushes and I was like, okay, that's expensive. That's it. That's it. I'm not getting anything else because their makeup brushes was so expensive. Um, I'm trying to remember what were the prices of them back then. I don't know if I still have that mentalness back then. I mean, mentalness of like it being still being expensive, but I don't know. I don't, I had, I didn't even look at the actual brushes. I just bought the palettes because now Sigma got palettes now. This is, I'm just... I'm just, I'm shocked. I was like, what? 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 So they have palettes and they have some really good palettes too. I've never tried any of their formulas. So I bought um, two other palettes just to see how Sigma's quality is going to be given. So the first palette, this is a um, collaboration with Diana. I think it's how you say her name. A little fancy cursor writing. This is the back part of the palette. And y'all, look at the color story. It's a neutral, but it's some pops, some colors. That's definitely is, I'm excited to try. And I got this for a good discounted price. I don't remember what it was, but I think this palette itself was like almost $60. Y'all know damn well I was not paying no $60 for this palette, but I think I got it for sale for like a good 30 something or 20 something. It was like really, really cheap. So I was like, oh, I, this is the main one I wanted. I was like, yes, I'm getting that one. And then this was another one that I wanted that was really pricey. I do not know how to pronounce her name. And Nook, I think she's here on YouTube. She does amazing tutorials, as you guys can see. I know everybody follow her. If y'all don't follow her, follow her. She does really, really beautiful makeup tutorials. So I was like, yes, about time she collaborated with somebody because if I was a makeup brand, 
I definitely would have got in cahoots and contacted her and like look girl we need to do something because you are amazing with the actual eyeshadow so this is what her outside of her palette looks like I wish she would have kept the palette to look like this I think that would have been really really pretty on the actual palette but it's like okay it's I guess Sigma had to be on there to show what it is but look at her color story y'all this was definitely beautiful different some neutral but you got some matte colors on this side and I feel like this one definitely has more mattes than the actual other palette so I am excited to see how Sigma formula is going to be and then this was a free item this is a like a makeup brush thing to um, cleanse your things so it's like a little I don't know what to call it what is this thing called a deep cleanse makeup brush gentle exfoliator thing a makeup brush cleanser tool it was for free for um, when buying uh, I think two palettes or you had to spend a certain amount but it was free whatever I wish they would have added a makeup brush in there because that would have been cool to see how they formula is but I I guess it's okay the only brushes I honestly use now are my Morphe brushes or elf or other brands that have been sent to me from my um beauty boxes all right now the last thing i want to show you guys is some hair units that i purchased as well okay so the one that i have on right now i got her from amazon so she is definitely new i think i bought this wig before i'm not quite sure but her name is zanea i think it's how you pronounce it this is what she looks like on the cover and what she looked like on the head i did do a first impression unboxing video on this hair unit so i should i don't know i'm gonna have it up i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i just did film it <laughs> i did film it um i just not sure if i would actually have her up because i don't know if you guys like me doing hair review or hair unboxing videos let me know if y'all do like them then of course i will be sure to showcase them to you guys because i be filming them but i'm like they don't really like hair unit reviews when I do them, so I film some, but then I don't never upload them. So let me know if you guys like those, and I will still continue to bring them onto the channel. And then y'all know, let me say, let me state this, y'all know I have a signature look when it comes to having my hair a certain way. I like these type of curls. I call them my favorite faucet hair curl. It's like that, um, what is it, the 80s, 60s, 70s, the curl flips, you know, out from the opposite direction from the face. I just like how that looks on me. So if it's not this type of hair that I have on my hair, then I like a nice little wet and wavy, curly type of hair on my head. So I have been stubborn and so like stuck in my ways on buying the same style of unit. So I've been trying to adventure out. So I did pick up some other units that I'm kind of feeling a little suspicious about. Um, they kind of still have the same curl pattern though too, low key. But they, they're new, okay? Because usually I order the same hair units that have these curls. And I'm what I mean the same one. Y'all probably know them. Hair unit Chill and Shanae. I think it's her name. Shanae. Shanae. I think it's her name, okay? I ordered those two back to back, back to back. And I think I did a, a, a video. And I think I did a video already on both of them on my channel. So I would definitely link them down at the bottom. But I definitely order those two on rotation every two and a half months the same units and yeah <laughs> so i'm trying to try out different styles of curling units although they might still look somewhat similar but i still feel like each unit have a different zhush about them but i picked up um this is by bobby boss this is what she looked like okay marcia and then this one i ordered before or i think twice the brin brin definitely one of my favorite hair units so and again, she is by Bobby Boss as well. This was no like intention on ordering a whole bunch of Bobby Boss wigs. What, what was this one? This is this is sensational. And the other two units are Bobby Boss. And then the one that I did try that I did not like. You guys have probably already seen her, but I did not like her. She was just too wavy in the wrong way and too long. But I don't know where the box is. But I don't even know where the wig is at. I think I pretty much put her on a trash pal but yeah she looked like this but she's too after a while the curls dropped too long for me and they just looked droopy it's just i didn't like it i wore a couple of videos already and i don't know i just did not like it it made me not like my makeup look because my hair i didn't like my hair but 
yeah so those were all the wigs that i got so y'all let me know if you guys want me to do an unboxing on any of these all of them some i don't know <laughs> let me know but that is pretty much it for this haul you guys it was pretty long like i said but i still hope you guys enjoyed you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll be back next week with my next weekly haul